spot of a bass. Everybody, it's Phil Angler and Angler Fishing down here today at the uh, one of the public docks here in, in Newport. I am going to be fishing some live bait. I've got some small smelt that I've kind of rounded up here. Ugh. They're little guys, but uh, I got a few of them and I'm going to use a kind of a small hook to throw them out there. I'm hooking them right through the lips. You can kind of see that yep, the guy right there. This is actually a pretty good sized bait. I like this because uh, everything will eat them. Um, anyways, uh, we're going to give this a shot today, so uh, stay tuned. All right, here we go. First cast. Okay, so I just threw it out there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it right here, but um, I'm just kind of letting it sit. The tide isn't moving yet. It's 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 just starting to come in a little bit. It's going to be filling in, so it should get a little better as the tide uh, moves in here. So right now, I'm just kind of throwing this one out a little farther away from the dock, not way out there. I actually catch more fish really close to the dock than I do out in the middle, believe it or not. I think just because there's structure here, fish like to get into the docks. Plus two, when um, we're you know chumming up the little bait with some bread, all that bait comes right by the dock here, and the fish follow them. So I usually throw one out about maybe 15 feet, 20 feet, just a little bit out, and then I'll get another one where I'm going to have no weight. I'm just going to use a hook, and I'm just going to basically fly line it, just let it drop it down, let it swim close to the dock, right along the edge here. I use really light line, like four pound line on this, so. Um, it's a little challenging. If you get a good fish, you got to make sure you got your drag set and be ready to go. So, I'll get that second one set up here in one second. Okay, rig number two. You can see it's a smelt. I got him on a very small hook. I'm going to just kind of toss this guy right along the edge right here and just let him um, swim along the edge of the dock. I'm going to move this here so you can kind of see. And uh, we'll see if we can get one this way. All right. So this little smelt is really ambitious. Uh, I'm not getting down to the bottom where I want him. So I'm putting a, a really small little split shot. You can see it, just crimp on. Don't usually like doing this, but it's kind of just pretty basic right now. I'm not trying to do anything crazy. Just need to get the fish to bait down a little bit. And then we got this guy hanging out. Looks like he's uh, he's pretty big. Looks like he's got some line wrapped around his foot, unfortunately, down there. Um, doesn't look that great, but it looks like he's kind of able to stand on it. That's pretty bad. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, I think he's just waiting for some fish. All right, guys. I just got hooked up by this is nice, but he just he just took it right now. This is the one that was about 15 feet out. And there we go. First fish. Ooh, spotty. On the on the light light smell, they do like those things. Got them right in the corner too, which is perfect. So there we go, first one. All right, well, I can make a video now. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. And another one. 
It's on the light. This is on the light rod this time. Whoa. All right, that was on the ultra light, man. That's a lot of fun. This is a little calico right there. Little guy, but right off the pier. Tell you those little two, three inch smelt, man, they work so good. Just use light line, not too heavy. Don't try to weigh them down too much. Try to keep them as lively as possible. Um, and uh, they work great, they really do. It's just a lot of work. <laughs> Bass. They good eating? Uh, they're all right. Fish tacos? Yeah, that's a little guy here. I swallowed it. I want to kill him. That's a little one. They get they get way bigger than that though. They're a cool looking fish, man. Yeah. <laughs> everybody uh it's phil just get back to here a little recap on my trip uh just to clarify a few things um fishing was okay i think i ended up with like four fish uh i lost one that was actually pretty pretty good size never got to see what it was you just snapped the line um uh, really basically i had two rigs uh, i think i showed you in there the one is just carolina rig i was using a half ounce sliding sinker with about a size six or four hook Kind of went between the two. Um, I was trying to use the bigger smelt on that one. I was throwing that one out about 15 or 20 feet off the dock. You don't want to throw it too far. I've seen more fish caught in that first, God, at first 10, 10 yards from the shoreline out than I have when you throw it right out in the middle or as far as you can. So I never think that the farther you throw it, the better the, answer, uh, the better the odds. You know, again, things can happen. You can throw it all the way out there and, and catch one, but. My experience, I've seen a lot more caught fairly close to the dock, you know, right on the drop off there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I was using basically Carolina rig, half ounce, sliding sinker, size four hook on the on the one I was throwing out. And then on my ultralight rod, I actually had just a small, probably size eight hook, really little, small, um, because the bait was really small. It was only like three, three inches. A couple I had were like five. But the small ones were good. You just gotta use a small hook so that um, when you throw them out there, they kind of swim around. You know, that hook's not just taking them to the bottom and they're just laying there. You know, you want them to swim a little bit. So those really thin uh, mosquito hooks work really well for that. You can like size eight. Um, it is finesse fishing. So if you're using light line, you gotta set your drag um, and, and take your time. Uh, I've seen some really big halibut caught off the docks like that i mean uh, i saw one time where this little girl was fishing with her dad and she had one of the little barbie poles and <laughs> dropped an anchovy on the inside of the dock in like four feet of water and hooked up a 30 inch halibut right next to the dock <laughs> on a on a piece of anchovy so that stuff happens you know and it can what's the great thing about fishing in newport is that you know all these things can happen so um with the ultralight rig again I was, I try to use no weight if I can and just fly line it. Um, but sometimes the bait's really good and it swims away. It doesn't really get down to the bottom where I need So in that case, I'll put a little small split shot crimp on weight. Just a real little one. Just enough to kind of pull them down and get them down, down to the bottom. Um, That's pretty much where most of the, you know, the bass and the halibut were, uh, were going to be found in. And if he's swimming up on the top and swimming out, you know, you never know. You might get a barracuda or a mackerel or something like that doing, you know, that where they're swimming on the top. But it's pretty rare at that at that spot. So I was just kind of trying to get that bait down a little bit. Anyways, uh, if you guys have any questions on the video, just, uh, you know, put them down in the comments there. 
again, thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'm going to try to do some more videos. I'm trying to mix it up a little bit here, um, give you some different content. Um, again, if you have any questions, put them in the comment, and I will do my best to get back to you. Thanks again, everybody, and I will see you guys in the next video.